It looks like the efforts to put together a rally in Israel for Donald Trump have been a dismal failure. That's at least what Jerusalem Post reporter Gil Hoffman believes. He sat down with ILTV's Steve Leibowitz to discuss why there's no enthusiasm in Israel for Trump's presidential candidacy. If one visited Modi'in yesterday, one could have seen a small rally for Donald Trump. And there's also other groups around, I understand, that are working for the Hillary Clinton campaign right here in Israel. What's going on, Gil? Well, there are anywhere between 200 and 400,000 eligible voters in American elections living in Israel today. And uh, people look back to the election in 2000 that was decided by a few dozen votes in Florida. There are a lot more than a few dozen Floridians living in Israel. And they say, hey, uh, let's throw some money over here, too. Uh, and you know what? It's ridiculous. We saw yesterday in Modi'in, I, I was there, almost no one came to what you just called our rally. That wasn't our rally, that was a photo op. I mean, there were a lot more reporters than there were potential voters there in, in Modi'in. There were a lot of balloons. The balloons outnumbered the voters as well. Um, and uh, it was just a, a, a really pathetic attempt at throwing way, way, way too much money at such a small amount of people. I wish the political parties that work in the Knesset in the building in back of me right now would make a third of the effort that the Democrats and the Republicans are making on us now. Well, I have lived in this country since 1974. I never vote in the U.S. elections. I don't know if you vote. How many of those two to 400,000 eligible voters do you think will actually vote for the elections in a country that they don't live in? Look, they claim that close to 100,000 voted last time. But last time there was a real urgency among Israelis who almost unanimously saw Barack Obama as being a threat to Israel's future. Now they look at an American election and, and they might see a lot that they don't like about both candidates. But when they're talking about Israel, are both saying the right things. Whether they'd keep those promises, we could be skeptical about. But there's no real urgency for Israelis to vote, and, and that's why this I Vote Israel campaign that started four years ago and still exists now, uh, it's nice that it facilitates the voting of Americans who, who want to vote, uh, but you're not going to see huge numbers. So you, you expect that it will be a lot less influential in the election than it was last time? I mean, does it matter anyway? I mean, these are what, write-in votes? No, they're they votes that theoretically count in, in uh, the states uh, that the people come from. Uh, and there are three or four states in America who are, are seen as the states that decide elections. Where a lot of Jews live. And there happen to be states that, that a lot of Jews live. There's a lot of Jews from, from Florida, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Virginia they're talking about now. They theoretically could make a difference, but I don't think they will. So... As we look down the road, would you say that there will be an increase in this campaign as we head towards November? Will it rise to a fevered pitch? <laughs> or will it basically be something that some people, Americans, like those that support that, I guess, that celebrate the 4th of July? Hey, a lot of people celebrate the 4th of July. Fireworks and, and the hamburgers, you never need too many excuses for that. Uh, but to go and really make an effort to put Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump in your in mail that in Israel barely exists nowadays, that the mail system is as pathetic as it's ever been, I don't see you're going to see them voting in droves. I'll put it that way. Are you going to vote, Gil? You don't have to say, but uh, you can, because the next question, if you say yes, is who are you going to vote for? But Four years ago. I was in Chicago. I covered Barack Obama's victory party for the Jerusalem Post. I went to uh, morning services at my synagogue, and my ballot box was there. It was kind of hard to say no to it. This time it's a little bit easier to, to, to sit this one out, Steve. Gil Hoffman, thanks so much for being with us at ILTV. Pleasure.